what's up y'all today i'm super excited to share with you tips and tricks to save you some bolt currency save you your tokens so let's get started i am inside of my bolt.new account you can see i have about 8.5 million tokens remaining and we have started a brand new project so what i want to do is show you a few tips and tricks that are going to help you save some tokens troubleshoot bolt save your work and not lose it so for this we will do a fun project and this project is going to involve taking three news headlines let's just say from cnn and in different categories so maybe one's in sport one is in politics and one is in world news and we will ask bold to create a software that takes three headlines combines it into one and makes that one headline a funny headline and then gives an image to go with it as a meme so that's the idea for this project and through this i'm going to show you the tips and tricks that i use to make bolt work better for me so first thing is giving ai that prompt to create this piece of software so i'm going to prompt that now a few inches later all right so my prompt is ready and that's where my first tip comes in which is to use this little icon here to enhance your prompt i want to show you the before and then i'll show you the after once we enhance it so my prompt is i'd like to create a meme website where users are shown a funny headline the headline should be from three separate news categories so tech news sports news and politics then we'll use openai integration to create a funny headline by combining an article from each of these three categories of news the new headline should take words from one article headline each from the categories mentioned we'll need to grab it from a news website that allows an api connection and this i put in there because i don't know if cnn allows scraping or these big news websites allow web scraping and that's the reason then we'll use dal e integration to generate an image to go with this headline the headline should be superimposed on the newly created ai image users should be able to copy this meme to clipboard so they can share the final result should also show the original three headlines and then the newly created funny news headline so that's my original prompt now what i want to do is i want to enhance this prompt so i'm going to click on the prompt enhancer and here's my newly enhanced prompts and this helps guide bolt in the right direction so this is my first tip is make sure that you use the prompt enhancer now i'm going to hit send and while bolt is creating this project we will go and read this newly created prompt so the newly created prompt says create a web app that generates humorous news headlines memes by following these applications Connect your news API service, example news API, routers API to fetch current headlines. Retrieve headlines from three distinct categories. Store at least 10 recent handwrite from each category. This is an enhancement that I did not request, but Bolt automatically did that. So that's great. Then the headline generation concept, and then it goes into detail about that. Image generation, details about that. How to assemble the meme, so details about that. So it's broken it down into chunks user interface requirements it's also broken that down and then technical constraints now you will notice that sometimes you will get this reply back i need to point out some important limitations for implementing this project in the web container environment so it's also calling out some of these limitations and this is great because now i know that this project might not work out and i might burn my tokens just trying it so now we're going to implement a different project and i'm going to give it a different prompt but this is the tip number one was to show you how to enhance your prompts so you get better results from bolt so right after the limitations what i also like is bolt is suggesting an alternative approach i hadn't seen this before but i'm glad that this is an option so i can also think outside the box and think okay how would i be able to do this without doing those integrations and then here it's asking would you like me to proceed with this modify version i'm going to say yes let's go ahead and give it a try a few inches later all right so now bolt is off into bolt land working its magic and while it creates the web app i'm going to pause the video come back once our web app is ready all right my web app just got done here it is fully loaded it's called headline meme generator combining the most bizarre news into even weirder headlines so what it has done is in the back end it has automatically coded some news headlines and then users can hit the generate button now looking at the three headlines i can see that it's essentially copying the first few words of each of these headlines to fuse them into a completely new headline now what i like to do at this point is i want to see whether my app is close to what i wanted 
and what other improvements I can make. So right now it looks good. The one improvement I would like to make is I would like the users to be able to copy and paste their own headlines. So that's another prompt that we're going to give to AI. A few inches later. So here's my follow up prompt. I would like users to be able to paste their own headlines for those three categories. So for this, the user should be able to paste. I would also like to have some icons next to each of the categories. So tech, sports and politics should have little icons for visual representation. And then lastly, instead of the background image, can we just make this site look like a news website? Now, again, let's use the prompt enhancer and see what kind of results we get. So it's added the icons and it's enhanced my prompt. Now let's give this a shot and we'll wait for Bolt to work its magic. Again, I'll pause this video and I'll see you on the next side. All right, we are back. So here's my uh, news looking website. And what I want to do is at this point, I want to keep prompting to make this better. But this is where my next few set of tips and tricks come in is before you go any further, if this is the point where you think your Bolt project is at a good spot, what I like to do next is go into the code base here. From the code base, I want to export this file. And this way I know that, okay, this is the version that I'm currently working with that is a stable and good version. So that's my next tip is to download this file so that you can roll back. There is a rollback feature inside of Bolt which is already built in. So if I go to this preview mode, you can see on down here, there's the undo button. If I press that undo button, I'll be given the option that those changes that we just made will be reverted back. What I have noticed is this doesn't always work. And that is why I like to download a stable version before I go any further with my code. Now, my next few tips are also in that same vein. So you can save your code base and this way you can always revert back to a stable version. The next thing I like to do is deploy it. Now for to deploy your website, you will need to connect it to Netlify. Once you have created a Netlify account, connected it to your Bolt account. After that, you can deploy your projects immediately to Netlify. And similarly, you can deploy every single update to your Netlify project and it doesn't create a new project every time. It just overrides your existing project. Since my Netlify site is already connected, I was able to seamlessly deploy this to my Netlify content management system. So we have already downloaded our project. We have exported it to Netlify, so we have deployed it. And then we have also used the prompt enhancer. For our next step, what I've done is I've opened the downloaded folder and uploaded some of those files inside of ChatGPT. And I said, read the files and tell me what this app is all about. So it read all the files from that zip folder and it told me all the files that are included in it. And then ChatGPT is asking me, let me know if you want a closer look at the specific files or details about the app. So you can say yes at this point and let it read it. Just so you know that AI is on the right track. It's understanding what your project is. And based on that understanding, you can then give it further prompts. Now, the reason why I do this is it saves me tokens instead of using Bolt because sometimes you do get stuck in your Bolt. Sometimes the code just goes for a loop and someone in their Facebook group had a perfect term for it. They called it the token burning loop. So if you don't want to be stuck in the token burning loop, export your project, bring it to another AI LLM tool, and then you can continue to work with it. Once you're done, you can put it back inside your Bolt project. And for the final tip, I want to thank Lim inside the Bolt Facebook community. And this tip is about how to properly set up the front and back end. I have not personally tried this tip. I just saw it inside the Bolt community. So I thought I would share it here while I'm making this video. And this one says, before you even start the project on UI, core features, etc., you must include the front end and back end setup instructions within your very first prompt. And then it goes about saying, here's how. So this is the prompt. It includes something about mono repo structure, front end setup, back end setup, workspace config, scripts, development, and deployment. So that's super helpful. And I'm definitely going to try this for my next project. So I will put this text 
in the description of the video or you can just screenshot this and have your favorite AI tool transcribe the text for you. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to use Bold. Apply these tips and tricks. Let me know which ones work best for you. If you have a trick up your sleeve, drop it in the comments below. Help your fellow Bolters and also let me know what is it that you have created using Bold. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Keep creating.